that we are in a virtual teaching thing so uh, dear teachers teaching is the primary thing virtual or it is non virtual or it is in the classroom where a direct and face to face interaction takes place both are almost the same things that way in the virtual one or uh, in the robotics one or to say it uh, in the modern terms called artificial intelligence this is an artificial intelligence teaching that we people are doing we people are not doing virtual teaching virtual teaching is something in which we uh, we are away from them but we are doing our best to go near them so when i'm saying that we are trying to go near them i mean to say that the purpose is not to remove teaching from the priorities the priority remains the same the priority is that we just want to teach them so teaching and what teaching is teaching is imparting learning teaching is imparting skills of collaboration teaching is imparting creativity teaching is giving them the skill of critical thinking so when we people have heard that there are four skills which are the 21st century skills the first skill is communication the second skill that we have is called collaboration the third one is called creativity and the fourth one we can say the fourth one is called that we have got the fourth one is called wait someone else took the presentation yes it is there so the fourth one that is there the fourth one is called critical thinking called problem solving so creativity communication collaboration and critical thinking these are the four skills which are 21st century skills and if you people want to teach your students these skills then the very first thing is to be precise it has to like be it, the skill has to be there in you like you see dronacharya that uh, being a guru or the trainer of pandavas and kauravas he knew all those things that he imparted that he gave to the 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 princes he was in charge of so the same way if you people want your students to learn the skills you need to possess those skills this is my profile this is how i look like i'm a assistant professor with a university in haryana that is maharshi markandesh were deemed to be university now i have shared the contact details or the social media ids with you also now this is the agenda everyone the agenda is that we are going to start what learning management systems are uh, can you people see the ppt now because you need to pin on me then there are multiple people presenting it seems i'll just go back to google meet and find out i guess just a second sir i have to resume it because some the moment someone else interrupts the presentation my presentation is gone i have to move out of powerpoint and then come back again now it is being shared i think so yes sir okay sir but i'm requesting please either you see whosoever is presenting you pin on the presentation so that even if someone else comes like uh, murali shri is presenting at present but i have pinned on my presentation so that is why you won't see i am not going to see the presentation of anyone else uh, now our day one agenda is till 11:30 we'll be working on what learning management systems are i'll be sharing with you and i will be taking your point of view also what is a learning management system the second thing is why in those learning management systems we are opting for moodle and what moodle is what are the moodle basics what are the functions of moodle uh, what are the things which are there in moodle all these things we will be working on and the moment we are done with this thing within 40 minutes or 30 minutes uh, the first one two three points we'll move on before t before 11:30 will be moving on to how to create a course how to add and manage the contents in it and how to manage the course or the class participants along with how to have an impressive content on your lms the learning management system now to start with what is a learning management system i i request you those who know the i request you to put something there put something in the chat box what exactly you understand by what learning management systems are if you can if you can suggest if you if you know anything about it what is learning management system please type for me 
what is learning management system okay good anything that can effectively replace a classroom very nice i i like appreciate the word effectively good and it's a platform to enable teaching in an organized way very nice another is lms helps us to share our thoughts with the group and evaluate and assess the learning group interactively a comprehensive explanation sharing notes materials to students very nice we are moving on in the right direction now we also say alternate method of teaching very good there is a software application for administration documentation tracking reporting and delivery of educational courses perfectly fine this is exactly like we can say uh, this thing has to be nice now okay lms helps us share our thoughts good now when i say it helps us in sharing our thoughts it works like social media platforms it can be considered as a whatsapp thing or it can be considered a facebook thing on facebook you share it reaches them means your friends and they people like it they people share it further that is one thing we do with facebook on whatsapp you people chat in real time you people interact that is one thing you do and the second thing that you do is you send them contents images videos and then you uh, do a live uh, streaming of uh, your calls also this is what we do on whatsapp we send them files also but there is a limit on it we make groups we can call them we make those those units or teams there cohorts are being created i'll say uh, sections are being created you create bro you create broadcast lists or you create groups this is what you do on whatsapp so two things another one one of uh, our friends said sharing of notes materials to students yes we do what we do uh, other than this is we do effective online engagement or teaching that is what we do through whatsapp now whatsapp sometimes becomes or facebook sometimes becomes becomes an alternate method of connection because if call is not working you put it on social media now those two are also softwares and applications then we are moving on to it's a platform to enable teaching in an organized way so uh, now uh, there is a faculty who has said this that lms is a platform to enable teaching in an organized way now whatsapp and facebook why they cannot be considered effective or enough to teach reason being their nature is different they are not organized they are not customized for teaching actually they are there to make people connect with each other and stay in connection and that is just a social intention there is a social purpose behind it so when you people want something which is an organized one now i'm, I'm just explaining the things that you people have shared which is an alternate method of teaching when we require to teach them virtually when we require to connect with them virtually only then this is required now online engagement is required notes and materials are required to be sent evaluation and assessment is required to be done gradings are required to be generated when all these things are there which can replace a classroom for time being for a particular duration when we need to replace uh, that thing only then this particular thing is required now uh, the last thing which has come is it is a software application to connect with large number of people this is perfectly fine so what this is what uh, we people have probably found out that the things that we use all those softwares and applications that we can use to bring teaching bring teaching on an online platform and also keep and also keep what we keep organized presentation we keep contents we keep assessment and evaluation in it all the features which are there in the real school real college real university all those features are brought by us to a artificially created platform which becomes a virtual classroom so the moment it becomes a virtual classroom we people want all those things to happen live discussions assessments evaluations we also want that students should be able to ask the queries we also want that there should be some quiz we also want there should be some assessment and when i say facebook whatsapp linkedin twitter youtube all these things are there and they are perfectly fine but what to do like when we people actually need to have one solution so what we do is we use a system 
we use a system as what is a system a system is a bundle of certain certain tools certain resources certain people so what is a system like the system we say system is officer system is doctor system is like people who are working so what we do is we go with the system we go to system we bring a management system and what we do is we focus on learning so a learning management system precisely is not something which is related to a machine it is related to an alternate medium of teaching for us and what is teaching teaching is interactions teaching is evaluation teaching is feedback teaching is assessment teaching is collaboration and teaching is a regular communication with the students so that is why there are so many learning management systems some of you in fact many of you have heard of google classroom now there is a thing called canvas there is there are many other things which are commercial products and all these systems are being sold these softwares are being sold and through these softwares what is happening is we are interacting we are teaching we are doing all those things that we could have done in the classes but we are not physically present we we certain times we are not and sometimes like uh, when uh, normal schools or colleges are happening when the universities are open we can uh, give them notes on the erps or we can give them notes on the online portal of the university where we upload our powerpoint presentations and they people download it and then next day they people come to the class and we have got that experiment or discussion but at present we are talking about teaching which is done in a virtual way and how lms a learning management system can be used the chat that you people have done and lms is the sum total lms is a bundle now to to make it more easy and lms is a bundle a learning management system is a bundle of various applications and tools that we use to teach and then teaching is sending information taking feedback assessment evaluation material sending then uh, conducting even tests also real time chat real time discussions all these things which are done in teaching if you are going to do them with some machine that machine that software that we use that thing that we use that platform that we use is called a learning management system it is a system which is going to manage your learning so that way we can cite google classroom and that way we can also cite moodle now what is moodle moodle is uh, this is a confusion that people have sometimes like one of the faculty in the morning had placed a question the faculty related belong to the previous batch of our trainings the faculty said the faculty said that what is the difference between MOOCs and Moodle so my answer is that MOOCs are the online courses and Moodle is just a platform Moodle is a platform which makes offering of MOOCs massive open online courses possible you can either conduct your classes the way you conduct it in the real times when uh, there is no lockdown through Moodle through Moodle is just a software or a bundle of different applications which is given to us free of cost not even a single penny is being charged by the developers of it now you can say that there are so many applications that come for free Google Classroom that comes for free, then Canvas comes from fr for free, Edmodo is there, Blackboard is there, then there are other like Binder is there, uh, Class Dojo is there. There are so many uh, LMSs which are free, learning management systems which are free. Now, what is special in Moodle? What makes Moodle special? Moodle is like at present, I'm saying without explaining it, but I'm going to bring the superiority of it. Now, Moodle is special for all of us why Moodle is special because Moodle is free of cost you can say Google Classroom is free of cost I would say no because Google Classroom comes with a G Suite account Google Suite Google Suite for education account which is given free only to educational institutions and the owner remains Google anytime Google can modify the services also they don't do it but there is a limit on the number of email IDs and users in Google Classroom and Google Classroom is actually just a sum total of uh, various Google products Google Docs YouTube and all these things but yes Google Classroom is pretty good only when you use it on the G Suite for education if you use Google Classroom through Gmail it has got limitations and Google does not allow the use of Google Classroom through Gmail they say if you are using it 
at an educational institution you are not allowed to use it through gmail your institution should subscribe to and use google suit for education and that requires some technical expertise for the institution most of you have got that thing in your institution but google classroom is a bit limited why it is limited uh, please like uh, see anything any home any household any 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 country everything is limited when collaborations are not allowed everything is limited then when the collaboration is not allowed now the same slide is there i guess some no ppt share the ppt but i'm able to see the powerpoint presentation uh, murli mohan ji the slides are not moving ahead for me they are moving ahead i'm still on day 1 everyone i'm on still on day 1 see this is slide 2 this is slide 3 this is slide 4 so uh, what makes moodle special moodle is uh, see i need to justify this thing to you before you, i i convince you to learn moodle i need to tell you this is better than others because it is free of cost it is open source you can install it on your own servers you can install it anywhere you can customize it you can you can use different plugins you can use different things which have been devised by others and that helps you to generate certificates and everything so moodle has got a bundle moodle has got combined features of everything moodle has everything that you people will need to conduct your online classes moodle has got everything which comes in different 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 lmss google classroom doesn't have those features google classroom has got google meet that we people are using today but again there is a limitation but see if i want to make a plugin plugin is a small you can say application or a software which is installed on another software so on moodle moodle has been de developed free of cost and it's a big 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 resource and it is free so you can take it you can download it and you can use it you can customize it if you people have heard ever about oers op you say open educational resources that means there are certain resources digital resources that can be used by people they are not copyrighted so moodle is not under any patent or any copyright it is being given to all of us for free it has been given by those who who have got concern for education so when i'm talking about what makes moodle special is the features that it has the the offerings that it has and the constant modification and improvement it is getting it makes moodle special and what are the moodle basics now the basics are you people can put your queries regarding the the introductory you say explanation which is being made for those who are looking at moodle for the first time this has not been given or i haven't spoken to do, to the friends who already know about moodle because they know moodle moodle is a software if you people learn it you can make your own website a learning website on that on that website what you people can do on that website you people can offer your courses you people can conduct your classes and you people can Uh, do all these things i won't be sending my ppts dear participants because whatever i am presenting to you is i guess enough uh, there is nothing in the ppts if you see this thing already you people know this thing you people know this thing you people know this thing i am won't re be required as a learning content and this is agenda which has already been sent to you so the presentation doesn't have anything however the recording of the session which is also being done at the tlc part which also being done from my side also this recording will be placed on youtube under unlisted uh, or upload and the link will be shared with you and the presentation is no presentation the presentation is we are doing at present so we are moving on to this how to create a new course the moodle basics are moodle is a platform that we people will learn and what it has it has got courses you can launch a particular course like you people teach biochemistry so the whole syllabus can be on moodle in the digital form and this is the basics thing moodle also allows you to assess evaluate grade your students and generate the results and keep them in records even mhrd the ministry of human resource and development those who manage education in the country they people also like do this thing they people are recommending the training of moodles because it is free like you have heard about zoom zoom started it was a super hit super duper hit everybody was using it and then suddenly a ban came on it so moodle is something which is open source which is not a product by a particular company which is making business 
so there is no business involved in moodle creating a new course we are just moving on to create a new course i'll be demonstrating how a new course is being created we are will be learning how to manage and add the contents yesterday i had requested you to select a topic or of or a main topic of your subject decide four sub topics keep two or three pdfs keep one or two word documents ready which can be copy pasted keep one or two you say downloadable documents or powerpoint presentations keep at least two youtube videos also so these things are required now agenda 2 will have something which will be a hands on session in which the things we are going to do now you will be doing them in session number 2 and i'll be assisting you in the second one we will be working on a one week online course what is one week online course is those four those things that you people are going to develop like two topics will be divided in seven days or six days we can say now agenda 3 will be working on creating a, a new course and uh, then we'll be moving on to have some discussion at the end but we are going to move the way it will be convenient for you now see moodle is what moodle is the world's most popular learning management system if even if there is a ranking moodle is on the top whole world is using it like they say the 2 238 countries they say they will have been using it you can see the stats on the moodle.org website how much it is being used around the world and it's a learning management system and it is very easy now when i move on to bring to you this thing you people must have heard about urkund urkund is a plagiarism you say platform check platform a checking platform which is being suggested by ugc to the universities also so these are 42 learning management systems with whom urkund can be integrated now can you integrate urkund into google classroom no you cannot now if you if your university if you you as a teacher you have got an account on urkund then it is possible for you to integrate urkund with moodle so that whatever your students are submitting any submission they people are making will be coming through the plag check the similarity index checking will be done that comes in the advanced stage but still it is possible for us uh, I, i believe you people have got your videos and audios off so all the delegates the learners the participants the teachers are requested to switch off their audio mode so that we can clearly see it because the moment you start your video my screen goes off and you become prominent so if you people have uh, your video off then i will not be removed from the screen now see these are different dif these are the lmss arcanic blackboard and blah 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 so many these are now you can explore all of them and there are more beyond these but still moodle is there and this 23 doesn't mean it is a ranking moodle can even last at the bottom but doesn't matter because we people know how it works because it is a constructive and collaborative resource now dear teachers now see only there only two things are required with you and me if you and i both of us can be constructive we people add on quality contents we people we people do something fruitful we people develop things we people design things we people curate things if we people are doing all these things then we are constructive we are creative and what is collaborative collaborative is that we people come together like today we have come together uh, and by tomorrow and tomorrow's day end we'll be able to know what is model and you people will be able to develop your courses or your contents will be there and you'll be ready to share them with your students that i can assure you and that we know that we'll be able to do because collectively you people are more strong you say better than me constructive and collaborative are the two features of being teachers now the functions of models and who can use this platform these are two questions the functions of models we model we people have already discussed that we people can uh, we can share the contents we can do all these things now my my you see we have been using whatsapp groups we have been using facebook we have been using linkedin we have been using twitter suppose everything comes at one place how beautiful that would look 
suppose we keep social media platforms aside and we bring our students to an organized platform which is meant for learning only which won't deviate them which has got such resources and activities and tools which has got certain applications in it which are going to just keep them uh, attentive which which are going to make them appreciate the skills of the teacher so who can use this platform the question is a n y b o d y any one anybody who wants to use it can use it because it is free open source now what are the limitations like what will stop you like if you people have heard me for the last 30 minutes i have been just talking randomly about moodle and its benefits so there is no limitation because it is it is being made by people who have nothing to do with business and it is going to be used by people who don't have anything to do with business so neither profit is on your mind nor it is with me so when i'm developing something and you're using it that is going to be a good team now what is moodle so if you people can because you people are not going to like uh, understand what moodle is without understanding this is not a name this is an acronym and what is an acronym acronym is like you have heard about niti ayog so niti ayog is n i t i so the the word also like the abbreviation becomes a word itself so when the abbreviation becomes a word like it is an fdp so we don't call it a word we say fdp so when you when you speak all three letters that is an abbreviation but when you speak that abbreviation as a word itself we call it an acronym in english so moodle moodle is what moodle is in modular which is particularly a thing which is being designed which is being modeled which is which is being planned that way it is an object oriented dynamic learning environment so the feature for me in this definition in this acronym is not learning environment or modular object oriented it is dynamic dynamic means the way you are dynamic the way your teaching has been dynamic the way you people have customized your teaching the way you design your lectures so moodle allows you to design your lectures design your notes design your plan design your course the way you want to do it so the acronym the full form of moodle is it is modular object oriented means focused dynamic learning environment it is an it you create an environment you don't create a you don't create a system please see you don't create a machine you create an environment now why do we use moodle because we are teachers and we want to teach why should you use moodle because you people are teachers and you want to teach why we means you and i we should keep using it because we people are teachers and we want to teach now what are the flexibilities in moodle now i'm giving you the basics what are there in moodle there are plugins like uh, you people can put a plugin for attendance like you can take their attendance you can uh, make quizzes it's a bundle because in a bundle there are multiple things you can generate certificates you can grade them you can give them interactive uh, you say videos you can make them drag and drop uh, into some exercises and quizzes moodle cloud is a platform on which you can now see this is a software you people have uh, suppose you people have made a chair and the chair is a magical chair which makes the people invisible now you people are holding it on your head and you you set out in the street and to sell that i want to sell this chair is there somebody to buy it then someone says i want you to showcase or demonstrate the benefits of it you say okay where should i put it the person says i'm not going to give you the place to put it you say how can i demonstrate it without you allow me to place it somewhere land it somewhere means like it is an aeroplane which is going to land somewhere so your moodle site s i t e your moodle site is your moodle site is at present something which is like a chair or an aeroplane so that chair and aeroplane requires a landing place it requires a place where it can be hosted like websites can be designed by anyone but they are hosted on servers so this server word is quite common to all of us because we have been like doing biometric attendance we have been doing email usage server is there so we need the server of someone where this moodle site can be installed so moodle cloud is one moodle cloud uh, last year like till last month we can say till april mid of april they people used to give you unlimited uh, duration for 50 users means 50 users and 200 mb 
200 megabytes data upload your site can be that heavy with 200 mb and 50 users were allowed on moodle cloud you can make a site website we can call it or moodle site you can make and you can host it they people will give you the land but now the people have changed it it is 45 days and because you can use it for 45 days and after that you have to buy and moodle doesn't have anything to do with moodle cloud website moodle is a separate you say bundle and moodle cloud is giving us the service it is helping us because if i have decided to launch a moodle site i can host it somewhere by buying by purchasing some space but moodle cloud gives this thing for free and you remember the word genomio yesterday i had shared with you that you are required to make an account on it genomio doesn't have a limitation it gives you two i'll say what was that 10 g uh, 10 gb like you have got an unlimited thing or 1000 users can be added by you and then you can have 10 gb of space so genomio and moodle cloud they both are free they allow you to make your moodle site moodle cloud has got a limitation so that is why moodle cloud now it has got i guess 250 users but we have stopped using it because the 45 days limitation means we cannot run it throughout the session so what we are doing Either the Moodle software, the Moodle bundle can be installed on your university website that your IT team will do. And if it is used on your, your university web portal, their server, particularly not portal, if you use it on web, your personal or your university portal, use it on Moodle Cloud or Genomio. The machines, the Moodle interface remains the same. It does not change. If you learn it today on Genomio and you make one on Moodle Cloud, inside everything is same. It is only the place where the chair is being placed. The aeroplane is all the same. Whether it lands in Bangalore or it lands in Chennai, it lands in Delhi, it is the aeroplane which is the same. The landing place might be different. And all of us are at present designing an aeroplane. We are all are designing a chair. I'm going to assist you in how to design a Moodle site and then where it is going to be hosted. We are going to learn how to host it on Genomio later on you people can move to the advanced level of using Moodle, and you people can use it on your university portal also where you can have all flexibility you can do whatever you want to do it at present we'll have some limitations from genomio open source this is an open source one and there are constant up, constant updates coming to Moodle software on genomio dear friends we are going to have 3.5 the version is 3.5 in Moodle cloud the version is 3.8.2 means they people have reached 3.8.2 3.9 is coming in June and next year they will come with 4 4.0 4.0 so there are a few features which are different between the one which is used on Moodle Cloud, that is 3.8.2, and there are features which are in Genomi, which are the version is 3.5. So just to have this terminology in your mind, we are using Moodle 3.5 in on Genomio, and what we are going to learn is is Moodle 3.5. The latest is 3.8, and what Genomio has said when we interacted with them, and we said that why don't you get it to the latest one? They said we shift from major to major like when 3.9 will be coming then we will be upgrading because we people are serving people with no profit interests so we are doing it free of cost we are giving them space we are using our servers and we don't charge them anything so it takes a lot of time to shift to another level so we'll be doing it later now there are the the interface is quite easy and the installation is quite easy when you people are going to have it now these are certain things dear friends the pages the assignments the forums the chat quiz label url these are certain terms which will occur again and again there are like uh, you can take viva also you can make glossaries also you can make quiz for them also and i'm just going through this presentation there are very less slides and all these things will come to you even then so what i'm doing dear friends i am moving on to my entire screen and those who have already got an account information from genomio i'm requesting them to kindly put it in the chat that they have already made an account on genomio and they have received that particular thing Everybody, please switch off the video because it will save your internet. The same way the Prime Minister and the country is requesting us to stay home, stay safe. So, stop video, stop audio, save internet. Now, I'm asking you, Genomio. 
very nice one person has said don't share the details here don't sh tell me the password i'm going to hack your account though i won't do it no problem sir we all are learning there's no place for sorry here nothing enjoy learning doing errors mistakes that is the best thing which is like we can do uh, so many people have received it why i told you this thing because they people are you know they people are loaded the people are loaded with the requests at present and it might take one hour it might take one day for all of us to to like do this thing very nice now now activated okay good if it asked anyone to register your site you click on register and then you move on to register your site what registration means that uh, if you go for the stats.moodle.org you will see how many sites in the world are registered with them so that they can count our site they can list our site also uh kalimuthu ji stop your video there is a there is a button with a with an icon of video you can just touch it and your video will not appear to all of us on the mobile screen there are two buttons one is a mic and one is a video camera so when you click on that video camera it turns red it you have to keep it red red means it is not working so your video will not be visible to us no problem and and see we people are digital immigrants we all have moved from black and white tv to color tv we have moved on from no gmail to email so doesn't matter we are not going to mind anything so many people have received it perfectly fine now can you people see i have moved to genomio site now i am using my another mobile phone to keep an eye on the chat so whatever you people see you some of you can like type it some of you not everyone if one or two people can okay logged into genomio i have brought genomio.com on the screen i'm going to start from the beginning from the scratch we can say not from zero so what you people are doing is you people are going to put a site name and now what is a site name a site name is a unique address it has to be unique the way you people have got your mobile number as unique the way you people have got your email id as unique the the way you people have got your pan card or bank account number as unique so these things are there those who have logged in perfectly fine only two steps are there before logging in one is you give it a site suppose i give it a site called life long learning l e i'm giving it a site called lifelong learning and if someone has already taken this address then it will not be given to me there are no spaces allowed and i'm putting an email here now i have written an email here i'm going to skip the language as english though these are the languages that it allows so i'm going to keep it as english and there are three things to be done one is url selection another is email id there is no name they people have asked and then keep the language as english and i have read and agree with the terms and conditions the terms and conditions are that the product belongs to them and you can skip this reading or you can also read it just to see if you haven't read the terms and conditions so these three things are there kindly put it in the chat if you people have got any doubt the step is go to genomio.com select a url type a url the address that you want for your website it can be your subject it can be the university's name initials or something but it has to be unique it doesn't mean that i'm going to only go with parveen best.genomio.com it can go with physics learners.genomio.com physics cit.genomio.com physics 2020 dot genomio dot com it can be anything so you are going to make it suppose if you are making it as a personal website keep your name if you want to represent the subject then you can do it because you people are going to tell suppose you people tell me that I am on Facebook with this name I'll say fine but I'll say what is the URL what should I type Facebook dot com slash what this is the URL which is going to be typed in the search bar so I am clicking lifelong learning genomio dot com this is the email id and then i say create a site so i have clicked on create a site please remember if you are not going to like use it they people also say that do not stuff us with request now you can see there are 
1800 sites on Genomeo. There are these many million users and there are these many like 2,35,306 courses are there. Now I'm highlighting just one thing for you that I will paste in the chat also. It says, Genomeo says that 1000 active users per month are allowed and 100 courses can be given by you and 10 GB disk space and 10 GB my dear friends is a good one like we have got pen drives mostly of 8 GB so 8 GB means around uh, you can put even 8 movies in it so that way this much space is there with us and uh, there is one more thing please remember because it is free so they people say this thing in the beginning itself that we are going to give it for free but please remember we will display some advertisements on your site and we'll say we won't mind it so here is the email that i have received nobody can access your moodle site without the password or the user id that you people will give them so it is secure otherwise nothing is secure in the covid thing we people have felt this thing nothing is secure so this is the welcome to genomeo email which has which had come to me and the address is virtualteaching.genomeo.com because I made a, a different one. The one we have made now, the email will be lending in some time. Or So I'm not like, I'm, I'm keeping myself away from it. I'm using a previously made one, but that is the same thing that you people have done. So what I'm doing after doing this, I have got this URL. I have got this admin and the, the first time password. The moment I use this password, it did ask me to change my password. I had changed my password. So I'm showing you this thing and it is not a breach of my private data. So what I'm doing, 78 participants have submitted just to have a look. How many of you have like worked on Moodle? Uh, good. I've got 60 people who have never worked on Moodle. So I'm talking to them, my dear friends, with the help of these people, 7 plus 11. So 18 people are in my team. We are 19. A good lucky number. So this is the genomeo site i have made my site and the address of the site at present that i had made is virtual teaching you'd say that i made learning i said life long learning dot g n o m i o dot c o m so this is the url now see this is the url lifelong learning and because I'm yet to get that email, so the moment I will get that email, ad blocker has to be the one which is going to be like uh, disabled just for this site if you people want it. Now, once you click on that address, which is coming to your email, you reach your course site. So my course site, dear friends, is virtualteaching.genomeo.com. If there is any query, let me see good very nice some people have already created like if i go with this uh, is here i'm opening a site which has been created by one of our friend who is into csc this is what i got to and this is see this is the site that you have created dr dr parvati vs bsc the please enable the ad blocker to allow that you can do in your browser i have already done that that is why it is being allowed so this is the site free trial demo these are the advertisements which are running i can cross it once but still the people are going to display these are certain things now i'm going to log in those who have got their laptops with them I'm requesting them you can do these things simultaneously also and or you can remember it in here I'm going to type admin which was being sent to me as a username I haven't changed the username and here I am adding my password the one that I had uh, resetted this is the dashboard everyone now you will you may like to ask me how this thing happened that virtual teaching is displayed here so until now until the login if there is any doubt any clarity you people want you can put it in the chat what we have done is we have through mobile it is difficult of course sir uh, the prerequisites of the meeting uh, this google meet workshop you were being told that a laptop is required so i request you i request you to 
to keep an eye on the things we are sharing so at the end of the day you people can work on it and uh, if you people are using a laptop it is just about uh, opening another tab and then checking it or you can listen because after tea we can work on it i'm going to keep you along like whatever is being taught in the previous session has to be covered first and then we'll move on to another session so this is the dashboard everyone this is the dashboard and there is a message okay now you can keep your sites with you audible everyone no query very good there is someone who made it for hindi also perfect very nice now see this is the dashboard after login so when you are logging in you go to the right hand side you go to this arrow you go to this side where there is no photo for you and it is only admin user you go here you click on profile i repeat you go to the right hand side top corner where there is an icon for the photograph there is no photo for you when you people have made a new account you click here you go to profile in the profile segment when you open it you will find what you will find you will find that here where is virtual teaching is written you will have admin user so what i do there will be no photo for you so you go to edit profile when you click on edit profile you see username is admin you can change the username i can change the username to this also i can change the username to like whatever i want to do but i'm keeping it admin now virtual teaching i can change my first name i can change my surname if i make it this see i have changed my first name and surname my email id is there there is a description for me also i am a teacher so i have uploaded a photograph suppose i click here i go i upload a file i choose a file i am going to upload a file like uh, this suppose 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 if i find okay this is the image that i had sent to you first image virtual teaching creative commons update update the file creative commons means i i have allowed people to use my content with a few limitations i'm updating the profile you will see the change now see praveen teacher the image has changed i'll get back i say no i can i want to change it further i can change it but once you people like uh, make it final one you keep it so what i had done is i have kept virtual teaching v i r virtual teaching the photograph can also be changed or i can delete the photograph i'll say i don't want a photograph and then i update my profile so virtual teaching no photograph so this is how it looks to you at present if you don't put an image so till now if there is any issue you can tell me we have just learned to change two things the profile segments name and the image or you can say we can even change the username also now you can check please no issue balaji okay fine by typing admin it says an invalid username uh dr ram kumar if you people have received an email and you are not like searching on go to your site say either ram kumar ji share with me your address of the site you have made when you people are making a site on genomio.com you people are making a moodle site please remember moodle is a platform through which we make a site that site is the learning management system to repeat moodle is the technology moodle is the bundle of those plugins those applications those softwares that you use and using all those things what you are doing you are making your site like a website and that website is your learning management system on that website we will be having all the features that we feel are required to make our virtual teaching effective the way facebook is a site on that you have got different features so your moodle site is for me it is virtualteaching.genomio.com now this is the profile page i'm clicking on dashboard now i'm clicking on dashboard 
now this is the dashboard everyone i already have a course that we that we prepared as a demonstration uh, with the the previous badge but we'll be doing it again so this is how it is i'm again asking you from making an account on Genomeo, getting an email from them logging into that uh, you, that site that you have made with the username and the password given changing the password changing the image of the user changing the name admin user into the name you want it to be if there is any query till this point please put it otherwise i am going to consider it at present not possible prem kumar ji you couldn't log in i have given this 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 it gives an instructional match the format requested just a second physics learners 2020 uh, sir i'm just asking you when you people created this thing physics learners 2020 there is a possibility someone has already acquired this address probably i'm i'm, I'm not claiming it as as something which has happened 2020 dot g n o m i o dot com i'm just opening physics learners 2020 uh, sir c site not available it means someone has already like taken it it says site not available your site has not been made so that is why you are not able to like get it so this is one thing you could not david Raji, can you please share with me the address the url if an email has come from uh, genomeo uh, selvi hemaji that is what i said by the end of the session there is a possibility that you might get the email from them this is what i said and that is why i guess uh, if you made an account yesterday then you please let me know but if you have initiated it today please say quick okay psychology uh hcas is there any issue when you are sharing the address please do not share the addresses with me if there is no issue with it how to modify the url name uh Dr. Kiruba Devi, as you cannot modify your Gmail ID, as you cannot modify your bank account details, as you cannot modify those things which are unique and final, you cannot modify the URL name. You have to make another site. Uh, Selvi ji, is there any problem with logging in? That is why you have created email you will be getting, Rameshwari ji. How to change the password? okay i'm demonstrating how to change the password it's pretty easy again you go to the profile segment keep an eye how to change the password go here edit profile yeah it may not ask you to change the password but you can change it here here it is new password suppose i'm changing my password to you see i can even show you this thing that so I'm changing my password to this and then I'll save and my new password will be there done so this is the thing you can change the password again in the profile segment in the profile segment you can change the password edit profile and you you do it you said at the end of the class I would receive by the end of the class you may get an email from them certain times it takes one hour i told everyone that it takes time they have got load loaded with the requests so certain times it takes a bit of time so that is why it was requested yesterday i guess or in the morning yesterday i guess i had asked you to make an account on genomeo if you are making it today it will not stop you from learning anything you will just learn how it is being used and uh, within an hour or two or even in lunch if you get an email from them activation and uh, admin and password things then you can do it doesn't matter like you uh, even if you don't have the mathematics books at your in your hands still you can learn it by looking at the board so the board is there from my side how to change password i have displayed any other clarity okay some people already have made it how to modify the url name i have answered uh, do check the spam as Balaji has said, right on right to uh, assistance. Okay, you David Raji, you could not join using the username and the password. And did I ask you to send me your no, you haven't shared the URL. Laptop, please, Dr. Satish, use it on laptop. The teacher can do a course through laptop. There is a mobile application 
that is used for Moodle courses. I'm recommending it. I'm suggesting it that you should be using your laptop on laptops only. The moment it comes to mobile, when we checked the Genomia courses could not be logged in into the Moodle app. There is an application also. But tomorrow we will try to learn the settings where we can enable the mobile connectivity also. Otherwise, this is a laptop based site. But still, your students can go to the Chrome browser of their mobile phone and then they can log in. It's easy. So that can also be done. Any other course? We are working on the desktop version only. Usha Kiranji, waiting for the site to open. Okay. No problem. If you have received an email from Genomio, then you people know what to do. If you have not received it, there are two reasons. Number one, you have not tried to make an account or you used an URL which is already there. Reason number one is this one. The second reason can be that still it is being awaited. If student wants to access, what should they do? They should have no, they don't need to have a Genomio account. I told you, like uh, you are going to make your website. Uh, Kiruba Deviji, you are making your site, your site, like your LMS. They only need to access the address that you have. Like if you people have given one address, like it is sivakumar.genomio.com, I'll be going to this address and because like see, here it is sivakumar.genomio.com, sivakumar.genomio.com. If I have got the admin details and I log in, I will be admin. If I have got the participant or student detail, then I will be a student. At present, when we are we are working on this, there is no student added by you. This is what we are going to learn. If you have got a got an account, like suppose you people go to banks. In the in the banking system, if you people have got a login, you, you don't have a login of the bank manager. So whosoever has got the login of a particular, uh, you say, role, the person logs in according to that thing only. We haven't, see, we'll be adding users, we'll be adding content, but I just want you people to take along when this thing is being done. This is virtual teaching coming again to the dashboard. After doing this thing, changing the virtual teaching thing like this, you can see this is a dashboard. For me, it is showing a previous course. For you, it will be showing an empty thing, khali, nothing. You click on customize this page. You click on customize this page. When you click on customize this page, on your left hand side, you see there is a block called add block. If you can see, there is a block which is called add a block. If you can see this add a block thing, drop me a chat. good add block is found very nice so add block what i did I, I, i'm again going back what i had done was i clicked on customize this page i'm on dashboard everyone if you see i'm on the dashboard i click on customize now the first step was go to profile change the password and change the name add a photo and add a description because you are the owner of you can write your profile also after doing the profile segment which was done here we come to the dashboard and then we click on customize this page and then we do we see this what i'm going to do i'm click going to click on add a block when i click on add a block it means on the dashboard this is the block here it is admin bookmarks administration comments you can read them suppose i what I have done is I've already added course overview calendar. Let me like go with this. I'm deleting certain blocks just to demonstrate it to you. How the blocks are being added. You can, you can do it anytime. Like I'm just doing it in the beginning, but you can do it anytime. Your dashboard is, uh, if you people have used internet banking, you can customize your, your dashboard also that what do you want to display? So these are the things I'm just deleting. I'm, I'm making it the same dashboard which came in the beginning. 
like suppose these things are their online users okay i'm deleting it also now this looks like a, an empty dashboard now you can say dashboard of your car dashboard of the vehicle that you drive now i'm going to bring things here i click on adding add a block and what do i need i need to see the calendar okay it is adding the calendar to my my dashboard here is the calendar now you that you can see i can bring the calendar drag it from the four you say there are there, there is a four there's a symbol drag so i i go to this one this cross type of thing and i drag it i say private files i don't i don't want this thing or i want it here so i can drag it now i go to add block again i'll say i want the courses to be seen on the dashboard itself the moment i log in the courses i'm offering or the courses i'm taking should be there now you can see the courses segment has been added on the right i'm bringing it on the center in the center i have got the courses one but private files has moved on the top i want it on another side so it is being thrown by me at the bottom now add a block these are the blocks you are adding online users do you want to see how many people are online at the same time because if you have got 100 students it will show you how many are online at present in my course only i am online so this is how you customize this thing and moodle this this bundle has got a feature in which now i have to stop customizing this page it is almost the same way that you have to log in into your account and then you have to log out so we were in the customized dashboard segment and we have done it so now we stopped the customizing thing and now it is customized this page so this is what we did now till now what we have done profile change and customizing the desktop two things have been done in these two things any query what we have done is customizing the desktop i'll say profile setting we learned and then somebody is presenting so this is what we have done uh, thank you kirti ji i'm going slow don't worry i'm going to take my speed i i know the speed that i have at present i'm going slow just not to like uh, make you miss anything add a block what to do with add a block sir these are the blocks see uh, i'm going to click on customize a page customizing a pc uh, if on your mobile phone on your home page if you see there are certain features you can add a wall clock like there's a clock not a wall that way you can add a clock on the mobile phone screen that is what we call customizing the desktop customizing the mobile screen and that's way, that way customizing this very page on which you people log in so this is the dashboard sir we click on add a block and you can see the admin bookmarks administration rights comments all these things you don't need to go to them they will appear directly there uh, do you remember everyone you can put it as a yes or no create shortcut for any file which is any folder of your laptop you right click on it from the options of uh, open to properties there is an option called create a shortcut the shortcut goes to the desktop so this is what we are doing we are making a shortcut for that particular thing and it comes to this mentees logged in users latest announcements okay i want this thing on the dashboard itself i'm creating a shortcut all these things are there in the back end you have to go to them but now on your on your dashboard itself these things are there so this is what like i'm telling you now we have moved on to site administration everyone in the site administration when you people see i'm just scrolling down and here you see these things now again this is users courses grades plugins appearance server reports and development we are going to spend time on user and courses for these two days because we are keeping this uh, 
this sharing for these two days as, as a general introduction which will make you capable of moving on to an advanced or a pre-advanced usage of it users courses grades plugins appearance server reports and development these are the features which are under the site administration so you can see all these things are here under the site administration button we have got analytics we have got competencies we have got badges location languages security ip blocker is there if you feel that you want to block an ip from where some attacks are being felt by you so all these things are there but use them when you people need to use them in these the front page and something so all these things are under site administration these are users under the user you add users you give them various permissions to do you set their role as a teacher as admin or a student under the courses we make courses and we make categories also now we are talking about site administration in the site administration thing what exactly is there we are going to courses site administration then we are moving on to courses in the site administration we are moving on to courses we are moving on to courses because we need to create a course first first we will create a course and after that we'll add users so first we create a course and then we add a user once we add a user this is perfectly fine but creating a course will also mean that we people are not just creating a course we people are also putting content on it like first you decide that thermodynamics will be taught you decide that particular thing you decide this particular thing will be taught so you decide a topic you decide a course that i'm going to give them a course about this and this so what i'm going to do to which category the course uh, course uh, relates to whether it relates to uh, no presentation dr vari the presentation is there here the ppt thing because you know when we when the participants keep on asking that where is the ppt we resource persons get worried that the people are not going to look at anything site administration from site administration i have this is the thing i clicked on i'm moving on to courses when i'm moving on to courses you people can see that under the courses thing what options will be coming to me in the courses thing the options that i will be getting are manage course as and categories add a category restore the course restore means what you can take a backup of a course keep it with you and then later on and later on whenever you want to launch that course you can upload it it is also possible that you have made a course on genomio and you people can take it to the moodle site that you have made on another platform like you have made it on moodle cloud or you have hosted it on your own server you can take a backup of the complete course complete backup all the files everything will be there with you in a mbz format and you can upload it now these are certain things backups and something something i'm clicking on everyone manage courses and categories what i have done site administration courses manage courses and categories i'm repeating step one site administration step two courses and then i'm clicking on manage courses and categories this is what i am showing you manage courses and categories i believe till here there is no issue i'll move on to create the course now i'm clicking on manage courses and categories now see this is what appears now under the manage courses and categories the way you people see a path on your desktop laptops the same path can be seen here also the dashboard site administration and all these things can also be seen here you can see that dashboard now this is the part dashboard site administration courses manage courses and categories forget about this because i've already created it i'm going to create a new one so this is what like we people have done so i'm going to create a new category let me do one thing for you i'm going to delete it but it will not be deleted because it is the only category that i have Okay. let me sacrifice something for you now this is the thing you will be finding 
this is exactly the thing that a first user finds so what i'll do i'll create a new category first we should create a category for the course reason being the course has to belong to something it belongs to mathematics it belongs to be graduation first year you can make because you can you might be teaching multiple subjects so in physics you people are planning that in physics you teach in three semesters so category is physics under physics there are three courses semester one semester two semester three you are also teaching physics plus you are teaching chemistry or some other subject then there are two categories physics and another category so these things are there there is a possibility that our physics teacher is also offering a course in communication skills because his or her skills are very good so the teacher will be having on his or her Moodle site two categories one is physics and the another one is skills or life skills this is how we make categories so the parent category will say top because category under category we don't want under the top what is the category name the category name at present is Moodle training so under Moodle training I can put multiple courses this is the category I'm creating this is category number one uh, you people know this thing there are codes for uh, like management is one in a university law is two engineering is three social sciences is four this is what the people might be doing so we are almost following the same way we are giving it a category number description is modal training category shall have courses for teachers and students how to use Moodle how to develop advanced courses like this these are the things i am planning under this category i create a category under the category i'll be able to under the category i'll be under the okay i'll repeat it under the category what i'll do under the category i'll be putting my courses you know there is there's a house there is a home we are creating there is a house or a home we are creating site administration this 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 is the category I created you can keep it away and then you can click on new category because you want multiple categories Moodle training no I want it to be an independent category I'll say top because under Moodle training also I can create a subcategory because there is a possibility that there is a department of applied sciences in applied sciences we have got multiple categories like the one category applied sciences under that we have got physics we have got chemistry we have got english we have got uh, maybe evs so these are the sub categories but i want it to be on the top category name is life skills category id is two and i can copy and paste and i can create a category now we have reached the home page i'm again going back to site administration i'm just telling you site administration courses manage courses and categories and create a new category as a moodle training and life skills two categories are created i click on moodle training you see on the right hand side moodle training was opened i click on life skills I'll see that my life skills category gets opened here. So these are the two things which are happening. Two things are happening. First is Moodle training and life skills. I want to make a course under this category. I click on Moodle training and I see on the right hand side it says create a new course because I don't have a course. I'll say okay create a new course we are moving on to create a new course ladies and gentlemen. These blue icons with a question mark are the friends. You click on them and then you see what does it mean. Course category, course ID and all these things are there. I click here and then a description pops up. So this is what you should be doing. Nothing to feel afraid of. These blue colored question marks in white color, they are the buttons where you can click and a text helping you will be there. You click these two red things in which an exclamation mark is there means these are required domains. You must enter them. Now 
course id number suppose we make it our id is uh, 3527 or some course is there fine we have given it id we can skip giving it why to give it like if we are learning not to get into so many formalities what i did create a new course course name course short name like em i said course category model training create course visibility i said yes create a new category okay sachin ji click on create a new category the moment you will create a new category on the right hand side you will find that create new course will appear description mo course for cit vt learners for me you are not no more participants an image you want or course summary files do you want images you want some some images that the people will be getting from you can say fine i can upload an image and the image can be something like just any image like i selected and i uploaded it now the image has been uploaded now till here see this is very important this is quite important for all of us this one is significant everyone just a second i need to remove these markings create a course add a new course we need to spend time on it we need to spend time understanding it actually now what we have done we dashboard site administration courses create a course course name general is course name we gave all these things we gave a course start date we gave a course end date and we gave the id number if we want to suppose we don't want to end the course we just want to start it by giving it a day so i click you say i don't click on it i uncheck it and the course will stay open i click here the course will be closed so we are making it a closed one at present the visibility is show yes because i want to launch it so it should be shown what does it say the setting determines whether the course appears in the list of courses and whether the students can access it if it is set to hide then access is restricted to the users with the capability to view hidden courses such as teachers only teachers will be able to see students won't see i've given a description here i this is collapse this means expand and this is closed now these are the options everyone these are the options add a new course general description course format appearance files and uploads completion tracking groups role renaming tags now can you people type uh, these things in the chat box or don't type it that might look a, as an assignment troubling you these are the things which are there we are i'm giving you time for the next 15 minutes only that is one five to be precise and you people are required to move to login into the site change the profile details like virtual teaching i have changed put an image that you want to be your profile image go to dashboard in the dashboard thing i want you people to add blocks if you cannot add them does not matter straight away come to site administration under the site click on courses under the courses click on manage courses and categories under manage courses and categories please click on create a new category the moment you will create a new category the moment you create that new category on the right hand side you will see create a new course under that category you will create a particular course and the moment you will click on create a course this will appear you will give it a name you will give it a short name you will give it a category also you will select a category to which category it belongs you will keep the visibility as show you will put the dates for starting and ending the course and then you will click on description you will give a description in the description you can put an image also the image icon is there you can also put an audio you can record a video you can bring like audio file or video file somewhere also like you can put a url of youtube suppose uh, we have got youtube moodle headquarters just a second 
I'll just bring it for you. Suppose what I do is I'm just taking one URL and I'll be using this URL as the course description video. So the video will be like coming. This is the channel that I shared with you in the morning. And uh, there are some videos also that we had used. Uh, what I'm doing is I am just sharing with you how to like add on to the description. And for that thing, I'm just going to put a video. So I come here, I'll say display source URL and then I'll say insert. This is the video which has come. I click on this arrow which is there and then I get more options to format it and I get it in the center. I'll say course summary files. There is an image already added by me. So please see what I did. I gave the general details after giving the general details i went to description i typed the description of the course now what is going to be typed here what we are going to type here is we are going to type the objective we are going to type our learning uh, outcomes here which are possibly like required so you please work till the general and the description